freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. I'm Mrs. Molly, your campus minister, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the 2021-2022 Pious Retreat Policy. In May of 2020, we released a new Pious Retreat Policy. We got rid of class retreats and we decided to offer students with a wide variety of retreats to choose from. These retreats are put on by the Pius X Campus Ministry Team, as well as the Diocese of Lincoln Youth Ministry Office. Rising freshmen must attend the Encounter Conference put on by the Diocese, and rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors, that's you guys, must attend one retreat each academic year in order to meet the retreat requirement. So that's three retreats plus the freshman conference in order to graduate. Only the Pius X retreats in the Diocese of Lincoln Youth Ministry Retreats will meet the graduation requirement. And now Father Bernardo is going to explain a little bit about why we have retreats here at Pius and why students are required to attend them. Retreats are a great gift that we have an opportunity just to take the time away from our regular schedule, from our regular routine. It gives us the opportunity just to stop and reflect on our daily life. So often we go from meeting to meeting to meeting to sport to sport to sport, practice, practice, practice. And we have very little time for reflection, very little time just to kind of re-examine what just happened. And retreats give us the opportunity to really take that time to reflect and see how God is moving in our lives in those sporting events we're a part of, in those practices that we're in, in the classrooms that we're in, in our friendships that we spend time with. Uh, retreats gives opportunities to stop and reflect and see how God is working in our lives. Although a requirement, retreats are a great opportunity and a gift that we're given to take the time to step aside from our daily life and to be able just to kind of look and examine how it is that God is working in our life. One of the great opportunities that we have is a chance to choose what retreat to go on. And as you reflect on what retreat that you want to sign up for, I encourage you to to think about what it is that your heart is most especially looking for. Uh, I know we want to be with our friends. I know we want to go where our friends are going. But I think, first of all, just examine where you are spiritually. And as you look at your heart, you look at your, your spiritual life, wherever you may be, to take that into the first consideration of which retreat should I consider going on. As you consider which retreat to go on, I encourage you to schedule your life around the retreat that you know is going to be best for you at this time. Don't try to schedule the retreat around your own life, but rather schedule your life around the retreat that would be best suited for you. As a priest, each year we're required to go on a retreat. But for the last 15 years, 17 years as a priest, I no longer see this as a requirement, but rather I see it as a great opportunity for myself just to go and be with our Lord, to spend time with Him in quiet prayer, spend time with Him in adoration, to receive the sacrament of confession, to receive him in the beautiful gift of the Holy Eucharist. And I encourage you, as you think about your retreat, to look at it as this opportunity, not necessarily as a requirement, but rather as an opportunity for you to enter into this time with our Lord, to be with our Lord, and in being with him to find healing, to find strength, to find what your heart has been searching for, longing for. As signups for retreats are coming, I encourage you to pray about which retreat in particular the Lord would like for you to be on and then sign up as soon as you can because there are a lot of great retreats and we want you to be a part of the one that you truly feel is what the Lord's calling you to be a part of. Now I'm going to share a little bit with you guys about retreat registration. The new retreats will be released on May 1st, so every student and every parent and guardian will receive an email on May 1st that explains what retreats will be happening during the 2021-2022 school year. On May 15th, you guys will get the opportunity to begin registering for those retreats, and you'll do that on the faith page of the Pius website. You must register for, for a retreat by August 31st. If you don't register for a retreat by August 31st, you'll be automatically assigned to whatever retreats have spots open on them. Each retreat has a capacity. Retreats are first come, first served. When a retreat hits capacity, that retreat registration will be closed, even if that day falls before August 31st. So for example, if you wanna go on the fall retreat, only the first 150 students who register for the fall retreat will be able to attend. Or if you wanna go on the female athlete retreat, only the first 100 students who register will be able to attend. Therefore, if you want to attend a specific retreat, make sure to sign up sooner rather than later. Don't wait until August to sign up. Sign up right when the retreats are released May 15th. 
students can begin fulfilling the retreat requirement on May 15th. That means that any retreats you do during this summer will count towards the 2021-2022 retreat requirement. We're really excited to provide a variety of retreats for you guys to choose from. This past year, we provided nine Pius X campus ministry retreats for you guys to go on. And next school year, we're gonna be providing eight Pius X campus ministry retreats for you guys to attend. Each retreat has a unique theme, and we'll share the theme, the dates, the location, the times, the cost, and other important details on May 1st. The Diocese of Lincoln Youth Ministry Office is also gonna provide additional retreats for you guys to attend. Jeff Shinstock is going to share a little bit about the Diocese of Lincoln retreats that are available. Hi guys, Jeff Shinstock, the Director of Youth and Young Adult Ministry here in the Diocese of Lincoln, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a couple of diocesan retreats that you could use to fulfill your, di your retreat requirement here at Pius. The first one I want to talk about is the National March for Life in Washington, D.C. Every year we take a group of at least four or five buses of students up to the March for Life in Washington, D.C. It's a great opportunity to begin. It's a wonderful step into real justice, standing in the place of somebody who has no voice standing up for the really oppressed people in the world so that they have an opportunity to be heard through you. This is what Christ would do, and it's an opportunity for real discipleship. Let's look at another opportunity, Teens Encounter Christ. This is a retreat for juniors and seniors in high school where we go to a specific location and stay for three days and two nights to really encounter Jesus Christ. Witnesses of all ages come and tell their story and ask you to share yours. And we come together through the sacraments and through the building of community to try and get you to know Jesus better. What else is available? The diocesan canoe trip where we take up to 80 students at a time on two different trips to the Niobrara River. This is a top 10 canoeing river in the entire country. It's a wonderful time where you also have the opportunity for daily mass, confessions, and a great group of talks by Father Ron Holmes, who really understands the needs of young people, who they are and where they're at. I'd love to have you come with us on that. Another opportunity for you guys this coming year is the Steubenville Conference. We go to Springfield, Missouri, where there's an incredible venue, great music, and a real movement of the Holy Spirit coming to you through community, through music, through talks, and then talking about those, those themes that came out afterwards. Um, it's another great retreat that I'd love to see you go on. All of these retreats are available. Uh, just register at lincolndiocese.org, click on the Youth and Young Adult Ministry, uh, and it has everything we have in pilgrimages, retreats, catechesis, uh, and I'd love to have you guys involved in all of our stuff. Thanks so much for this moment, and we'll be talking soon. Diocesan retreats will require an additional registration for students to complete. Now I'm going to wrap up our time together by sharing a few other pieces of information from the retreat policy. Students must be present at the entire retreat, and if the retreat takes place on a school day, it will not count towards the 10 absence rule. If a student desires to change retreats or if they are unable to attend the retreat they re registered for, they must contact me, the campus minister, and will be allowed to switch retreats only if there is an opening on another retreat. If a student wants to attend more than one Pius X retreat during an academic year, he or she must register for the additional retreat after August 31st. If a student wants to attend a Pius retreat and a diocesan retreat, they can register for both those retreats before August 31st. If a student attends more than one retreat during the school year, it can be applied towards the next school year. It is the student and the parent's responsibility to communicate with me about additional retreats completed. When you have completed your freshman conference plus three additional retreats, you'll receive a congratulations email from me confirming that you completed your graduation requirement. If you have any additional questions about the retreat policy or retreats that we're going to be offering next year, feel free to reach out to Father Bernardo, Jeff Shinstock, or me. Thanks and God bless.